which unboxing should I do next? You know, the more unboxings I do in this room, the less cluttered it is and the more echo there is. You win some and you lose some. So sorry if there's an echo. What's up, Sailor Senji? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today I have an unboxing video for you. I love these kind of videos. This is an unboxing of a whole bunch of items that I have gotten from mostly Hong Kong, Taiwan, and China. These are all items that I purchased through a proxy that I use on Instagram. I will put information down below on how you can also purchase through a proxy. You Usually proxies charge a small percentage and then ship items to you when shipping is available internationally. Some countries it's not available for right now because of the pandemic, please get vaxxed. All right, let's go ahead and unbox these products. I am super excited to see everything in here and hopefully you are too. I'm just going to line up everything on my table up here so it'll be really easy for me to show you each item. My husband's working downstairs and every time I like throw a box, it makes a ton of noise on the floor. I'm sorry, husband. So I have a slew of items sitting in front of me. Let's go ahead and start with some of the bigger items and get those out of the way. So my proxy is always really nice and sends over little bonus items. I love these masks. I think they are really cute. Here we have one of Creamy Mommy, which is another anime, one that I never got into. And then we have three different ones for Sailor Moon. Here's one that features Luna and Artemis. And then we have one that has the same print, on a pink background as well as a white background. So this first item is a double wall tumbler. You can tell that the packaging got a little bit squished on its way over to me. So hopefully the actual tumbler is okay on the inside and it looks good. Yeah, it looks totally fine. Here we have a very cute, somewhat transparent tumbler which has a dome top on it, perfect for Frappuccinos. We also have Sailor Moon featured on the front of it. And then moving around, we also have Mars, Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury. The straw was included, very nice. And I love that it's reusable. And on the inside of this dome, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of stars that kind of sprinkle around. There's a ton of them in there too. Do you see them all? Yeah, look at how sparkly that is. I do love my frappuccinos and I love my cold drinks, especially in the summertime. So this would be great for that. Very cute, love it. Now also with this whole kitchen trend, I swear if I lived by myself, my entire kitchen would be Sailor Moon themed. I'm constantly on the hunt for things like wine glasses. And that is why I got this pair of wine glasses. So these are from, a company called Darley. Luckily, they do have English recommendations on here. It says not suitable for dishwasher, dish dryer, or microwave oven. So basically hand wash only. So these are a pair of very large wine glasses. Look how big they are. But I love that they have this beautiful pink bottom to them. So it gives you a nice pink glow around the wine glasses. And we also have this gorgeous print of Sailor Moon silhouette on the front. And we have her moon stick on the back. Very pretty, very heavy. So really thick glass on these wine glasses. I like that a lot. This other one has the same color for the glass down at the bottom. So you get this nice pink vibe going on. And then we also have the inner Sailor Guardian silhouettes on the front. And on the back, we have Sailor Moon's logo. Really cute. Definitely using these <laughs> like all the time. <laughs> now these are face masks, which I know a lot of places do not require you to wear masks anymore, but I personally still do in specific scenarios. So these were available through Grace Gift, which you already know about Grace Gift if you watch the channel. They do some really cute Sailor Moon inspired shoes, but they had these face masks and weirdly they weren't available for shipping overseas. I'm not sure why, but I did have to go through my proxy to get these. They're all the same face mask, but that way you don't have to reuse them and you get like 30 in the box or something like that. But I love that print. How pretty is this ombre print? There is a little metal strip up at the top for your nose. And I just love the print of blues and purples and pinks. I think it's so pretty and I would not mind wearing these at all. Okay, moving on, I did order a couple of these really cute silicon mug toppers. These are supposed to help you keep your mug of coffee or hot tea hot. These are also super useful in the summertime when there's bugs outside and they might be attracted to your water or your drink because you can just stick this on the top of it and protect your drink from any bugs jumping into your glass. So I like having a few of these on hand. Also on that note, 
This looks like it would be a silicone topper, but it's kind of small for that. This is actually just a silicone coaster. So I do love my coasters. I don't know why. I think that they're super pretty and I like having useful things around my house. So I picked up this really pretty coaster. And these are the silicone mug toppers that you can just set on top of your hot mug of coffee or tea. I like that this one has the really pretty bow up at the top. And I mean, they both have really pretty bows at the top. Who am I kidding? I'll have to wash them. They have a little bit of dust on the bottom of them, but otherwise very, very cute and very useful. So I will definitely be putting these down in my kitchen. This is just a very simple tote that I found to be really pretty. So I wanted to grab one, especially because it's made out of that nice canvas material. So it'll last a long time. And it also comes with this cute little silhouette keychain of Luna. Nothing going on on the inside. There's no additional pockets or anything, but I love that Sailor Moon's compact on the front is embroidered. That's a nice little touch and something that I appreciate. So cute. All right, I just have two items left, but these are both really pretty and cool and unique items to add to my collection. So I have mentioned previously that I don't collect soft enamel pins. Um, these were ordered sometime last year, so I do have these soft enamel pins, but I'm glad I do because these are very big and very pretty. These have come out several times at Asian pop-up shops that were available internationally. However, they weren't available here in the US, so I did have to use a proxy for these as well. They come in a very beautiful display box, so I don't even have to remove them from the box. I can just leave them in here. It's quite heavy. And when you open it, there's your pins. So there's two pins in here. One is of Neo Queen Serenity and the other is King Endymion, which is pretty cool. We don't get a lot of items that feature Neo Queen Serenity and King Endymion. So this is a pretty cool, nice little addition to the collection. In terms of pins, we have some cute little drop accessories which are on both of the pins. There's a little pearl at the bottom of each of the pins. That's a nice little touch. There's glitter on the background of the soft enamel for both Serenity and Endymion. No screen printing that I can see, but we do have the very nice coloring. I think it would be really cool if these had screen printed eyes, but I don't think that's as popular internationally as it is here. It looks like both of them have two pin posts. There's one at the top and at the bottom. So very cute. I know that these have come out many times and I just held off on buying them until eventually I caved and I was like, okay, I need to get them. Okay, last but not least is a paper lantern, which I have never ordered one of these items internationally, but I'm glad that I did because it's really pretty. The big question I have is, can I figure out how to put it together? We'll see. Okay, so it hangs like this and it looks like you pull down on the lantern itself. Okay, so there's this little pool in the back and you pull that up, that tab, to make her stand up. So Sailor Moon's supposed to stand up straight. I don't wanna tear it cause it's made out of paper. So I'm trying not to like bend it or tear anything. Hey, <laughs> I did it, okay. So there we go, okay. So that's what the paper lantern is supposed to look like, like so. Then you have Sailor Moon up here at the top. You have this thingy hanging it up. Okay, so pull the finger holes at the bottom. There's your finger holes to open the lantern. Pull the paper puller to reveal the light holes in the 3D panel. Okay, that's the 3D panel and here's the light holes right there. Insert the flashing light into the light hole and the yellow light into the light hole. Graphic will be projected onto the floor. So luckily this thing has direction showing you which light is supposed to go in which hole. The battery is good. Ooh, it changes colors. Here's the other light. So B goes in the back. It's kind of nice because you can just slide the plastic light into the back like that. A, the second light, goes in the front hole. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I get it. <laughs> so when it's all said and done, we have the stars next to the logo lighting up in the front, right underneath Sailor Moon. And then the back piece lights up the rest of this lantern, which has an image of Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Chibi Moon on it. At the very bottom, we have a really cool effect of Sailor Moon silhouetted 
onto the ground. Now, if I turn off my lights, I wonder if you can see this. It's kind of hard to see when it's all lit up in here. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when you actually have the lights turned off so you can actually see this thing all lit up and looking cool. This is really cute. I'm, I kind of want more of them just to like hang around my collection room because they're so adorable and unique. And this is a very like Asian culture item, having paper lanterns. So I think it's really neat to have this. That's cute. And it's pretty easy to put together once you've done it one time. So quite happy with this item. What do y'all think? Isn't that cute? Okay, so let me know what you think of all of these items that I purchased from Hong Kong, Taiwan, and China. If you have any questions about any of these items, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, because I love seeing all of y'all out there. It's always really fun to make new friends online who are also obsessed with Sailor Moon. And until next time, my name is Sailor Snubs. Jane.